hello dear fans friends and subscribers uh, welcome to the uh, daily cricket show of mine uh, cricket happenings and uh, as far as uh, today's cricket happenings goes uh, it's going to be uh, some matches that were played uh, one is the Sri Lankan tour of India where the board president 11 captain Sanju Samson uh, scored an aggressive century today uh, which was pretty good to see I mean he was the one who led from the front even though the match ended in a draw uh, the good thing to take was Sanju Samson the Indian board president's 11th captain making 128 of 143 deliveries 19 fours and 1 six uh, in the Indian board president's 11 knock of uh, total 287 for five and then we'll have a look at the third match uh, which happened in the Ram Slam T20 Ram Slam T20 tournament is a local tournament which is played in South Africa and the reason I saw say to talk about that is that A.B. de Villiers slammed a 19 ball 50 uh, to take his team Titans to victory over the Lions. And also, we'll have a look at the Bangladesh Premier League. And as far as the Bangladesh Premier League is concerned, uh, there were wins for Kul uh, Kulna Titans by 18 runs. Uh, that was one match. And the second match uh, was the Chameleon Victorians uh, winning the match in a very, very convincing fashion by nine wickets against the Raj Shahi Kings. So first we'll start off with the tour match which is and also uh, let me start off this uh, cricket happening show uh, with uh, shocking news coming in from the under 19 Asia Cup uh, that's happening uh, happening now and the under 19 Asia Cup defending champions India were defeated by Nepal in the first round itself so definitely uh, it is a big victory for Nepal and, um, and Nepal actually upsetting uh, the Indians in the uh, under-19 Asia Cup so it definitely shows that Nepal has come very well prepared and um, you know uh, they are definitely showing that uh, slowly and steadily they are going to rise um, uh, to to the top here at Nepal so congratulations to Nepal uh, for uh, you know shocking the Indians uh, the defending champions of the Asia Cup India and winning the match um, so let's get on to the Indian board president's 11th innings. As an Indian board president's 11th innings, if you look at the card, it was all about Sanju Samson. He was the sole, uh, I would say, sole scorer. Um, it's a one-man army, actually, because nobody could really kick on. Like Jivan Jod Singh uh, made 35, uh, three boundaries. Um, um, Agarwal, Mayank Agarwal, Ratti Agarwal made 16 with three boundaries. Amit Bandari, three. Uh, um, and then we had Prem making 39 with five boundaries. Sandeep was not 33 with three boundaries. Jalat Saxena was not 23 boundaries. But it was all, and the score was 287 for five. And it was only thanks to Sanju Samson. Played an aggressive knock, I thought, 128, 19 fours and 1 six. So definitely led from the front uh, and enabled the match uh, to end in a draw. The balling. In fact, uh, they decided to use almost all the ballers. Uh, uh, the captain just wanting to give them a trundle. If you look at the uh, bowling that is used, uh, it will really tell you as to how many people were used. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 ballers. As you know, this is just a warm-up match. So 13 ballers were used uh, and uh, two wickets for Tirimani, uh, one wicket apiece to Ashri Desilva and Samravi Kama. So that's the story as far as the tour match was concerned. Now, we look at the third match, as I said, the Ram Slam T20, and the reason we are talking about that is because uh, the A.B. de Villiers uh, actually uh, scored, um, uh, he blitzed uh, a 50 of just 19 deliveries. In fact, the Lions batted first and made 127 for 6. Um, Riza Hendricks was the highest scorer, not out on 67 of 42 deliveries, 8 fours and 2 sixes. Uh, other than that, um, there was not much to talk about. 127 for six was what uh, the uh, the Lions uh, put up on the board. Uh, the balling, uh, if you look at the balling, Albi Markel had three for 12. You know, Albi Markel uh, uh, definitely when is uh, really uh, when he's not really seeing him in the line right now. Uh, David Weiss had one. Uh, Giri and uh, Nigiri, the pace bowler, is a promising one. Was a bit costly today. Went for 29 and one wicket to him. Tabri uh, Shamsi 3 was 23, uh, Dala just maybe Siboto 11. Uh, Titans uh, were the ones who were chasing 135. Uh, Quinton de Kock made a quick fire 39, 24 balls, 5 fours and 2 sixes. Henry Davids was uh, scalped by Mulder 
for five nine deliveries one four but Alvi Morkel and Avery Williams skinned the Lions uh, bowlers. Uh, the ball, the Lions bowling consisted of Kadisha Rabada, Buran Hendricks, uh, Dwayne Pretorius, P. Mulder, the promising leg spinner, Afungiso, and Fortune. But they were really slammed. Avery Williams went on to a 19 ball 50. He was not out on 50 of 19 deliveries, three fours and five sixes. Alvi Morkel crashed an unbeaten 41 of 16 deliveries, one four and five sixes. Uh, to take his team to victory 140 for two was the final verdict and uh, the the titans uh, winning the match over the lions uh, with his contributions from albie markel and uh, the the king abd villiers uh Rabana had 2.2 was none for 28 buran hendricks two was for 20. Dwayne pretorius two overs was slashed for 31. mulder the leg spinner also got a bit of a tonking three was to 28. fungiso one over eight and fortune one over which was slammed for 21 runs so that is as far as the that particular match was concerned and now we get on to the uh, bangladesh uh, premier league the bangladesh premier league matches uh kulna titans uh, were taking on the i think it was the i'm just trying to see which team was it uh well it was the shittagong vikings uh, who were there and the match was actually won by titans by 18 runs so kulna titans uh totaling 170 for seven batting first uh, Walton uh, out for five, four deliveries, uh, one four. Nasbert was in Shanto, made nine of ten, one four. Michael Klinger was dismissed cheaply as well. LBW to Sinsamal Aslam, who bowled well, I thought, two. Um, really, Rosu, 25, 26, two sixes. Mahmudullah and um, Ar Ar Ariful Huck were the joint top scorers with 40 apiece, uh, 40 of 32. But uh, I thought um, Ar Ariful Huck was uh, simply uh, superb with his batting. He hit three sixes of the over of Sons of Mul Islam, I suppose. I feel like 40 of 25 dollars, one four four six. Brathwaite uh, slashed it towards the end, 30 of 14, uh, two fours and three sixes. Archer, um, uh, John Jong Archer uh, was not on 11 with four, one four and one six. 170 for seven was a pretty good score uh, by the Kulna Titans on the board. Sons of Mul Islam at two for 20, none for 17 for second the Raza. Uh, Munavira 3 was 1 for 16, bowled well at Tarsha Bar, 6 was 1 for 21. Task and Emmett 4 overs was smashed for 43 with 3 wickets uh, besides his name. Tanvir Haider 4 overs for 44 was costly. And Reese, uh, Luke Reese uh, had 1 over uh, which cost him 9 runs. Now it was the turn uh, for the Shittagong Vikings uh, to play their part. And as the Shittagong Vikings tag 171 was given, uh, well, they, f they fell short by... 19 runs they were re restricted to 152 for seven uh, they lost uh, their uh, hard-hitting openers luke ronke for two and also some Sarkar for not so that really put uh, a sort of a real spanner into the works of the shillong vikings innings animal huck 18 of 14 two folds one six mudavira made 10 of five one four one six miss bowl huck made 30 was the highest uh, 37 one four one six the highest score was second of raza uh, 37 of 27 that was four folds one six Reese made 22 of 17 with 1 4 and 1 6. Tanbir High was not of 14, but again, that was not enough. They were restricted to 150 to 47. The bowling was good. Um, uh, German Archer, 4 of 1 for 30, but Abu Jaid was the one who actually nipped the wickets uh, with his uh, pace. 4 of 4 for 35, did a fine job. Shafil Islam, 4 of 1 for 24. Brap with 1 for 29. Mushraf Zain, 3 of 1 for 22. Mahmudullah bowled 1 over for 6 runs. And the man of the match was Abu Jaid uh, for taking 4 wickets. He was the man. Who started picking up those two important wickets uh, at the top of Liu Kronke and Swami Sarkar and then went on uh, to hit the middle order as well when he picked up another two good wickets that of uh, Munavira and Miss Baul Haq. So that is as far as that particular match is concerned. Shirigong Vikings uh, losing that match. Uh, let's get on to the 12th match and the final match in the script happening show I would say. Uh, we are talking about uh, the Comelia Victorians taking the Ratshahi Kings. Ratshahi Kings actually uh, batted first and uh, they put up 115 for seven never a good sh score there for Raj Shahi Kings uh, I could say um, by any stretch of imagination um, they had um, Lendl Simmons who was in some prime touch I would say and he was scorching the uh, balling of the of the of the team uh, which is um, Chameleon Victorians uh, but uh, Lendl Simmons very unfortunate he had to retire hurt on 40 of 23 deliveries six fours and one six so that will give you as uh, how uh, how hard hitting Simmons was. Mohamed Haq was dismissed for two. 
Ronnie Talib Dal went for North Mushfiqur Rahim was out for 16 and it was uh, all a matter of Mohammed Nabi, the Afghanistan spinners actually ruling the roost uh, with uh, both um, Rashid uh, bowling uh, splendidly and uh, putting the batsman uh, into a quandary every time he bowled four overs, no matter one first one splendid bowling figures from Rashid Khan. Uh, Mohammed Nabi uh, was the one who was amongst the wickets, four overs, 15 runs, and three wickets. So I said it was Afghanistan domination today. Arafat Sunny, two overs, comes to 22. Mohammed Nabi already spoken about. Al Hamim Hussein, three overs, comes to 24. Uh, Bravo bowled four overs, comes to 28. Mohammed Saifuddin, three overs, uh, went for 18. Uh, and looking at the card still uh, going on there, Mushfiqur Rahim, 16. Uh, um, uh, Franklin, James Franklin was out for 7 of 12 balls, Marius and Miraj was out for 6, Waller 1, Reza uh, hit out towards the end, not out on 20 for 30, uh, Nizmin 2 and Mohamed Sami uh, not out on 10. So that was the situation as far as, as I said, any stretch of imagination, 115 for 7 put up by the Iraq Shahi Kings was never going to be enough, but one never thought that comedian Victorians would wipe off the target in 15.1 overs. Uh, at a rate of 7.91. Lidon Das um, was very aggressive right from the beginning. Uh, he hits, um, in fact, he had a real battle against Farhad Reza. He actually swung him for two glorious sixes and two boundaries, but then uh, at the final delivery, uh, he, he was scalped. The second over, um, he had already scored. Lidon Das had scored 23, and he was clean bowled uh, behind his legs by Farhad Reza. He's gone 23, but after that, um, there was there was absolutely uh, I would say there was more hitting uh, in store in the form of Joss Butler not out on 50 of 39 with four fours two sixes Imrul Case not on 44 41 four fours one six game over 124 and there's a nine wicket victory uh, for the for the chameleon Victorians uh, as far as the bowling is Mohammed Sami three was number 13 Farhad Reza two was number 31 Hassan Mirza uh, I thought he bowled well. Three was number 13. Uh, Kesrik Williams slashed for 33 of his three. Franklin went over for eight. Nizam, uh, uh, Nihadu Zaman, three was number 16. Waller uh, bowled one ball, which was slashed for six, which was the winning hit. And uh, the game was over. Rashid Khan, what a splendid spell of bowling. Four overs for seven runs uh, in any grade of cricket is a splendid bowling performance. Rashid Khan, the hero there. Well, dear fan subscribers, I don't have anything else to share uh, other than uh, what I shared right now. Uh, and I hope to see you all tomorrow uh, on my next And we also know that I am also preparing for vacation here. So as I've already mentioned, um, uh, as and when I find time during my vacation, I will definitely be there. So keep an eye on your uh, cricket happenings. You might see me coming uh, at times. So probably that uh, the as far as that is concerned that should be starting from day after tomorrow from uh, day after tomorrow i think uh, uh, you might probably not see me on a regular uh, in the sense not regular i will try my best but uh, one has to wait and watch as to how things will pan out well dear fan subscribers on this particular update is about time for me to end this cricket show by bidding you all a very good night